Hi there, and welcome to the Verenta YouTube channel. My name is Yelena, and today we're going to talk about concept drift. So what is concept drift? In short, things change. And it might happen that the patterns your model learned in the past are no longer applicable, simply because the world has evolved. Let's take an example of fraud or spam detection. In these cases, bad actors tend to adapt, and there will be new types of fraud and spam constantly appearing. We can say that the concept of fraud is evolving, and your model will have to adapt in return. There are different types of concept drift that one might encounter in practice. First comes gradual drift. It is a sort of a normal paced model decay that we can expect. There are a lot of small changes that accumulate over time. None of them is individually dramatic, but together they add up and eventually lead to a performance decline. But it might take days, weeks, or even months until the model ages. For example, we might be working with a model on a manufacturing line that is predicting expected product quality. In general, the process is pretty stable, but we will have some small changes accumulating because of equipment wear, and eventually the model will decline. But it might take up to a year until it visibly ages. If we take something like demand prediction in a grocery chain, it can be more volatile, because consumer preferences change, there are always new products appearing on the shelf, and we will need to retrain our models more often to account for all these changes. In both examples, we assume that there is some sort of a normal speed of decay. Actually, we can even estimate it in advance. We can take our historical data, train our model on different periods, and then see how well the model that was trained on, for example, one month fresh data, one week fresh data, and so on performs, and this way get a ballpark of how frequently we will need to retrain it. But it does not always happen that these changes are gradual. We might also encounter a different type of drift that is called sudden drift. Yes, we all have an immediate example here. The pandemic. The planes do not fly, consumer preferences really changed, uh, people are buying a lot of yoga pants instead of suits, even the office now looks like, well, home office, and the word corona means something different. But even outside these sort of global events, we might experience situations when our models are broken because of some sort of sudden change. For example, if we have a production model and then we'll have a revamp on the line where we install new sensors, our model will also become obsolete. Or for example, if we are working with clickstream data and we have a redesign in the application, then again the model will need a major update. Sometimes people mention one more type of drift, seasonal or recurring one. I would argue that it's actually different from the concept drift we discussed before because this is something that we can anticipate when looking at our past data. We can see that, for example, the shopping behavior is different on the weekend or that in summer people buy more ice cream. So if we build a model that is responsive to the seasonality, it will not be surprised in production and will continue to perform well. But yes, these things happen and we might see changing patterns that is occurring from time to time. In previous video, I spoke about data drift. One might ask what is the difference between data drift and concept drift once again. So here it is. When we talk about data drift, we talk about the change in the input data distribution. The relationship between the features and the target might still remain the same. For example, we have new type of users that are coming from new channels that we did not see before. When we talk about concept drift, it is the relationship between the features and the target that is changing. The input data distributions might still remain the same. For example, we will have the same users with the same demographics, but for some reason their behavior is now slightly different. Of course, this is all just a technicality, because in practice, we're going to see likely both drifts at the same time. So how to handle concept drift if it happens? We have the same usual suspects. We can retrain the model on the new data. We might want to give more weight to this recent data so that the model knows that the newest patterns are more important. We might need to rebuild the model from scratch. If you don't have enough data yet, sometimes we might need to apply some sort of fallback strategy, for example, use business rules. In certain cases, it makes sense to change the business process itself. For example, instead of predicting something for one week ahead, we'll be predicting something for one day ahead, because we know that the world is changing too fast and the model uh, better responds quickly. Well, let's sum up. Concept is a change in the relationship between the model features and its target. When it happens, the very essence of what we are trying to predict changes. So we might need to retrain the model with the new data, update it, or even pause it for a while. And evidently, we build a tool that helps you understand the behavior of your model target in time and how it relates to the individual features. So 
So check it out on GitHub. Let me know what you think. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We'll be having more explainer videos like this very soon.